back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you the ColourPop Pressed Glitter Shadows. I just received this package. Well, by the time you see this, it's going to be, I don't know, like a week or something. So I'm going to be showing you the Pressed Glitter Shadows. I'm not going to be doing a look on this because I just want to show you the shadows and the swatches and i haven't actually swatched these so i just wanted to wait to make a video so i can show you guys what they look like so before we get started please make sure you subscribe to my channel click that notification bell and give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this haul swatch video however you want to call it so this is what they look like they came in a box like this and this is what it looks like on the inside ColourPop has the cutest boxes okay so let me tell you when I went online to purchase these they showed the palette with all the shadows but when I received it it came empty and all the shadows came like separate like this so you have to put them in here also let me tell you a funny thing when you go onto the website I was looking just for the pressed glitter shadows and they come individually like this right here. So they were listed he like this on the website and they said they were $5, I wanna say, like $5 each. There's 12 shades, so that would be around $60. I already had all the shadows in my card and then I'm like, let me just go ahead and see what else they have. And I saw the actual palette with all 12 shades. You're not gonna guess how much. $20 yes I was like oh my god like I was already gonna buy the whole thing for $60 and then they have the entire palette for 20 like that is super super affordable I don't know if they had a sale or I don't know what they had but I just paid $20 so it was affordable so like I said they all come like this separate so I guess I will be opening these and the package is so cute it looks like this and it has the actual name on the back right here so the first shade that I'm going to be oh and they come like in a little, in a little plastic thing so the first shade that I am going to be opening is called hungry ghost you guys these look so pretty oh my god I already got a bunch of it on my I hope this is not hard with nails and yes I did break a nail so Oh my god i need something to clean this off okay so the first shade like i said is called hungry ghost and it looks let me see if i can and it looks like this right here it looks super 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 shiny i think i'll just leave the ring light off because i think it's going to be easier for you guys to see so it looks like this right here <gasps> Oh my god i got my shirt dirty but okay oh my god these glitters are everywhere okay so the touch of it is ooh, i thought they were gonna be sticky they're not sticky it's like actual glitter pressed so as you guys can see it looks like this let me just oh my god this feels so weird and i'm gonna swatch it right oh my god okay for these i feel like you're gonna need kind of like a sticky base just because it's it's loose glitter it's just pressed in so oh, can you guys see that it is so pretty oh my god this is like an iridescent shade it's kind of like white but it looks so pretty and so shiny so once again this is called hungry ghost so i'm just gonna place it here on my palette so you guys can see there it is oh my god these shades are oh my god these glitters are everywhere okay these are so pretty so the next shade i'm going oh this is another white one this is called island hopping island hopping hmm, it's a weird name so this is called island hopping and this is actually a just a pure white one the other one had like a uh, iridescent to it so this is just a plain white one looks like this right here yeah these are just like loose glitter and then they're just pressed in there oh my god so let me just yeah this is like pure white wait it does have a little bit of iridescent but not as much as the other one i don't know if you guys can see it it's right here 
the first one had a little bit more like yellow to it and this is like pure white but it does have a little bit of iridescent to it so that is pretty cool you guys oh my god i'm so excited let me see the next one is also a little bit white but it has a little bit more of pink or blue to it it's it's kind of like a fun color it's a weird color and this is called light show so it looks like this right here these are so tiny and they're actually hard to grab okay i got it it fell but it was okay so this is it right here oh my god what the hell is wrong with me <sighs> okay so once again this is what it is it's called light show Ooh. yeah you're definitely gonna need something sticky so let me just swatch it in here yeah this one has a little bit more like green to it it's this one right here it looks so pretty you guys these are so pretty okay so that was the third one let me see i'm kind of looking for them kind of like in order like color combination so the next one this is actually an holographic one i don't know if that's how you say it but it's the one that looks like a holographic like different shades and this is called cast away which is this one right here i don't want to drop it anymore this one has more gray to it So let me just swatch it in here. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm going so crooked, you guys. So it's this one right here. See how it has more gray to it, more silver? So that's the other one. Let me just see. So I want to kind of put them like in order, even though I can mix them later. Okay, let me go ahead and go with this one. This is more of a green one, like a, I don't want to say gold. It has green and yellow on it, and this is called Fire, which is this one right here. See how it looks more green? So let me just swatch this one. Ooh, this one is so pretty. Wait, let me see where I have my hand. Maybe like right here. Okay, I'll just do this. So that's a shade right there see how it has more green it does look a little bit gold but it has green on it so once again that was fire and they spelled fire with a y the next one i do believe it's a pure gold but it does look like it has chunkier glitters on it oh my god i just stuck my nail into it these shadows are so sensible like they're so this one looks pretty okay this one is called jet lost see that shade right there i don't know if you guys can see the actual shades but it's a gold one and it has super chunky chunky glitters on it i feel like you have to be careful because if you dunk your finger in there it's gonna go everywhere they feel smushy And this is a shade right here. Oh my god, you guys can't really see that, but that's a shade right there. Because they are so glittery, it's hard to actually show on camera. Okay, the next one, this is like a copperish gold. It's like a brownish. It looks copper to me. I want to say it's copper. This is in the shade Generate. Wait, Gene? No. Genegade. It's in the shade Genegade. This is so pretty because it's like a coppery brown shade. This one with a brown look and then just this like on the central or inner part of your lip. It's going to look so pretty. So let me just swatch it in here. And that's what it looks like right there. Just like a gold color. The next one looks a little bit purplish like a purple I don't know what to call it but it looks purple and this is in the shade over pat which looks like this one right here this is called over pat and I'm scared to put my finger in them because they are so I thought they were gonna be like sticky like jelly kind of feeling but no this is just glitter pressed and a shadow so you have to be super careful with this ones and that's the shade right here 
There you go. Looks purpley. The next one, it's kind of similar to that one, but it looks a little bit more pink, kind of like a rose gold. And this one is called Indio, and it looks like this right here. Oh, this one looks more stiff like it looks it's it feels harder it doesn't feel as smooshy as the other ones and it's this one right here right here that one looks so pretty too okay the last three okay let me do this one the last three are a little bit colorful. So this is like a hot pink, like a magenta pink. And it looks like this one. This is so pretty. Let me see. This one is called Free Bird. Oh my God. And there it is right there. Can you guys see that? Okay, I think you can be able to see them like this. So this is the other shade. Okay, so now we have an orange and a yellow. So let me show you guys the orange one first. This one looks so pretty, you guys. Oof. This is called Boombaya. I want to say it's Boombaya. It looks like this. It's just an orange one. Once again, these, you have to be careful because you put your finger in there and they slide all over the place. And... Oh, can you... You can't see this one. This one is super, super light. But, oh, there you go. You can see it in here on my finger better than on my elbow. So this is the other shade. And the last shade that I have right here, this is the yellow one. This one looks so pretty. And this is called Palooza. Oh my god, this is so pretty, you guys. I'm going to show it to you on my finger first because I feel like you can't really see it on my arm. I think I should have put a base on my arm and then swatch it there i think i'll do that at the end of the video i'll show you um a full arm swatch of all of this with a sticky base so this is the yellow one right here and it's this one right here yeah you can't really see it but like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna do a primer on my arm a sticky primer and then swatch all of these so you guys can see them more clearly but those are all the shades i already placed them in here as you guys can see i thought there were so many of them they weren't going to fit on this palette but they did so these are all the 12 shades right here so give me just a second and i'm going to swatch all of these on my arm with a sticky base so you guys can see the colors more clearly and i'll be right back Okay, I already swatched all of this on my arms and I just used my Morphe eyeshadow primer and I sprayed my finger a little bit with the Mario Badescu spray just so it can be sticky. So, I tried my best. So, these are all the shades right here. So, it starts, I don't know, you can't really see the first one right here, but it's this one right here and then it goes all the way to the bottom see how these all these shades are so pretty these are so 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 pretty you guys so yeah these are all the 12 um press glitters and like once again like i said they are so pretty you do have to be careful with these because it's just glitter pressed into an eyeshadow pan so they're not sticky or anything if you really go in there you're gonna move everything so once again these are the shades right here you guys can see they look so so pretty so yeah this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it once again like i said if you guys want me to do a look on in an, on a specific shade um let me down let me know down below i will probably like i said do a 
um look on these and i also got two eyeliners but i'm not gonna let me just show you guys what i got because why not right they're just two eyeliners that i found that were so pretty it's like a periwinkle one and a lavender one i'll just swatch them for you guys here so you guys can see what they look like because i thought they were so pretty and right now everybody's using pastels and yeah this is just what they look like they look so pretty it broke oh my god it's broken mm, okay it broke so too bad so yeah this is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>